Hello guys, welcome to Forensic Extract and today's topic is about contusion and bruises. So in uh, previous video we have discussed about abrasion and various mechanical injuries. So today we are going to discuss about contusion and bruises. So first of all, bruises or contusion are effusion of blood into the tissue due to the rupture of subcutaneous vessels. So this is basically a sort of effusion in the blood. Yeah, effusion of blood in the tissues. Uh, the important cause is the contusion and bruise are blunt force impact injuries. The uh, blunt force may be like stone, fist, stick, bar or etc. Then the character. First of all, uh, it is a painful swelling and crushing of the surrounding tissue. So there is effusion of blood and it's a painful swelling with the crushing of surrounding tissues but the continuity of skin is maintained so skin overlying skin over the contusion is intact but the skin is discolored basically so now the size varies from pinhead to large or a minor trauma causes large bruise in areas where tissues are loose and vascular like in case of face scrotum vagina there is a, uh, a minor trauma can cause large bruise moderate violence produces a uh, small bruise if tissues are strongly supported and fibrous and covered with thick dermis like in case of scalp palm sole and abdomen now marked abrasion seen in on a tissue overlying bones on women children and old age and fairly uh, skin person so now is small bruises developing like in, in case of hemophilia, whooping cough, scurvy and leukemia there may be some sort of small bruises in seen in the way uh, if some person is suffering from these kind of condition so the basically bruise is a blunt force impact injury that is going to cause effusion of blood in surround in subcutaneous tissues now the site it may not indicate the site of violence because uh, due to shifting of the blood due to gravity the gravity of shift uh, the shifting of the blood is going to cause ectopic bruise from the uh, from the natural site the bruise uh, will be at some other place like blow uh, to forehead shows around the eyes and kick to calf muscles shows around the ankle so these are the example of ectopic bruises now the shape usually round shape but patterned uh, uh, bruises represent the op uh, the object like elongated shape seen in stick whip or cane or radiator grill shape in case of fraud traffic accidents so the shape of the bruise may can tell about the and the uh, alice weapon or type of uh, uh, the vehicle in case of road traffic accident but it is not true in uh, in every cases because the bruises are going to enlarge after some time so there may be some uh, misinterpretation of findings but the abrasion are more important medical legally as compared to bruise because abrasion can tell the patterned abrasion can tell the uh, uh, the vehicle or whatever the weapon uh, the accuracy is more in case of abrasion so medical legally abrasion are more important as compared to contusions now different age changes in bruise first of all there is uh, oxygenated blood in uh, in, in the capillaries or venules so the initial color is red and after hours to three days there is deoxygenation of blood in, uh, and formation of reduced hemoglobin leads to blue uh, discoloration and the color of that contusion will be blue on fourth day that contusion will become black, bluish black or brown on four to six day that is due to hemosiderin and that is due to bleed verdin the greenish color is due to believe verdin pigment that forms at four to six days then after seven to twelve days that will be in uh, of yellow color after two weeks it is going to heal so there is a difference between abrasion contusions that abrasion are uh, are going to heal within one week but contusions are going to take uh, two weeks to heal now the medical legal points patent bruises indicate weapon or object they may indicate the alleged weapon or object size indicates degree of violence if a, a, a large bruise is there then it shows that the degree of violence was much more then the age of injury can be determined based on the color changes it can tell manner of assault like in case throttling seen in uh, seen 
around the neck multiple bruises will be there that is called as six penny bruise because of the, the classical appearance of bruise due to uh, the compression due to finger uh, fingertips now the contusion to internal organs leads to death so internal organ multiple contusion to internal organ can cause severe uh, hypovolemia and hemorrhage internal bleeding can lead to death so these are different medical legal points related to contusions now the difference between accidental homicidal and self inflicted bruises so first of all accidental bruises presence of natural items seen on the site of crime like sand and gravel in case of accidental bruises in case of homicidal bruises size and shape of the bruise will correspond to the weapon of uh, a weapon used but in case of self inflicted bruises bruises form are dark brown and margins with, uh, margins with uh, vesicles will be there around the margin of that bruise and surrounding tissues will be red and inflamed then various scraping marks or scraping of marks responds to the test to identify the material so scraping from that uh, that bruise or that mark is going to uh, responsible or uh, it going to be very helpful uh, for identifying the mat material that has caused that bruise now the difference between anti mortem and post mortem bruise the anti mortem bruise uh, present the uh, swelling will be there in case of anti mortem bruise but it is absent in case of post mortem bruise then color changes will be there in case of anti mortem bruise that color changes won't be seen in case of post mortem bruise in case of severe trauma the anti mortem bruise present anywhere on the body but the post mortem bruise present only on bony prominent areas the post mortem bruise are only seen over bony prominent areas so post mortem uh, there won't be any vital reaction so there is no color change no swelling and sign of inflammation are absent in case of post mortem bruise now the difference between true and artificial bruises first first of all the artificial bruises jo hote hain that are uh, caused by arka or bhat uh, bhala taka juice or calotropis juice or bruise of marking nut then the true bruises are caused by physical violence the situation basically the artificial bruises are the, uh, over accessible areas but true bruises can be seen anywhere on the body artificial bruises are always irregular but the true bruises are round in shape margins usually regular well defined and small vesicles uh, are present over the margin but the margin in true bruises are diffuse irregular and no vesicles will be seen color will be dark brown color but in case of true bruise the color is typical changes typical changes will be there in color the inflammation of surrounding skin will be there the inflammation at the site of bruise will be there in case of true bruise content will be acid serum will be there and blood will be there in case of true bruise the itching is present in case of artificial bruise it is not present in case of true bruise then may uh, multiple vesicles may found on fingertip or other part of the body these vesicles are absent in case of true bruise so these are the, the, these are the basic differences between true bruise and artificial bruise in case of uh, fabricated bruise uh, so we uh, one must know the basic difference between true bruise and artificial bruise to differentiate them so guys next topic will be about incised wound and slashed wound uh, slashed wound so we will discuss uh, the same topic in next class so thank you guys thank you and please do subscribe and like and comment thank you